<laughs> it's me again. I didn't have internet. <laughs> That's why um, I made a video and then the internet went down. Um, so I'm doing part two and I'm going for a walk. It's really cold in Melbourne. I'm in Australia. Here's my lavender and a lot of beautiful roses. And look how beautiful it is. <laughs> I finally found the green spot and I'm just going for a walk and the sun is going down as well so okay I was talking about the lunar eclipse um, which we had with full moon and it's about in the collective healing the feminine more than ever yes I know I, I, I said that word a lot <laughs> the feminine is healing in a big way and it's connected to the ancestral lineage so I have a lot of clients right now and we're doing a lot of ancestral clear, clearing healing which goes up to eight nine generations um, and women are complaining about vaginal issues womb issues where they go for operations um, where they can't doctors can't do anything even they do the laser surgery and what they like Seriously, I don't know what women do to, when they go to the doctors and they go through major procedures and they're having so much pain and they're suffering and I'm like, what the heck? So I have one client right now, since years she has vaginal pain and um, she can't even take a proper bath and she even a few months ago she reached out to me and I said, can we just please do something else energetically first before you go ahead? But no, she was very convinced she wants to go and do the laser thing, um, which is supposed to help. It didn't help. She went through major pain. And now we started working energetically. And then uh, actually what happened is she was trying to do everything not to do the healing session. And then I said, OK, I let go. You know, you whenever you're ready, you do it. I'm not here to force you. We're doing the healing when you're ready. So sometimes the soul wants something and the human brain says no even though the soul says hey let's do it we are ready look at this beautiful tree isn't that beautiful so then what happened is her mom got really really sick and then she reached out and she said Agatha please I trust you um, my mom has demands she's not doing well she's not doing fine and within a few days it, it like it got really bad I said sure and I made a video about demands and then I said yeah I can help of course and then it was not about her it was not about the mom it was about the daughter and I said girly you need to get out of the field you need to get out of the way I can't work with your mom energetically if you're in the way and then I realized it's the woman who had uh, this were China issues where they were doing this laser surgery and treatment so then yesterday I started working with her and then it was actually a huge big curse which she had uh, around the sexual organs which is from the ancestral lineage and there's it was actually tough to work with her but then finally it opened up and a lot of light get got into that area because she said you know what um, I felt really tired and I could feel that um, I'm, I'm, I'm more tired than usually and I went to bed early because I told her I said it's very difficult I'm not able to open up but while she was asleep I was able to opening it up and then so many other issues are coming up like about women controlling their family members um, manipulating instead of um, being in their power so ancestral lineage is healing big time more than ever in the feminine in the woman that the woman has to actually clear and heal herself because we always have the tendency that we want to help and be selfless and we want to always do things for others but sometimes do you ask yourself what is the intention when you do healing with others when you ask for healing for your child or your husband or your mom or your brother is it because you wanted to have it a certain way or is it really selfless and you want them to be the happiest person and to be in their own empowerment which means sometimes that they're not doing what you want and that's love you know doing something for someone when you have the energy but also if it's in the benefit for all that means if it's in their free will not because they do something what you want them to do which is happening in many countries also the incest cases about 
you know, mothers having affairs with their own sons, adultery, all those things, it comes all a lot from women as well, not just from men. And now it's really time that the feminine heals and the masculine, the masculine are complaining about heart issues. They're going to the hospitals. The hospitals can't find anything because their heart is opening up. Their heart space is opening up. They want to heal. Love is expanding in their chest, <laughs> which is connected to the lungs, which is about being free. The lung meridian is about freedom. It's about um, breathing, you know. Uh, the chest, it's about expansion. I hope you can hear me clear. It's a bit windy here. So all I'm saying is if you need help for ancestral healing, for about, about the feminine energy, um, right now is a great time. You can always reach out to me. Hi Kate, hi William, hi Rowena. So it's a very beautiful time to do a lot of healing, to bring more balance into um, this universe on this planet. We had a solar eclipse. And now we had a lunar eclipse and as you can see feminine and masculine it's always working out for the highest good of God. Always remember you are the power of your life. You decide how your life is. You can always say no. You can have free will. Free will means you can say no if you don't like something. And you can say yes to something you like and love. Love you guys. <laughs> I'm Aurena Gatifola. I'm a healer. I'm a seer. I'm a star seed of course. I'm a multidimensional being and I'm the admin of the Turing group and thank you for being in the group and keep sharing your knowledge and your wisdom but always share your own wisdom and knowledge not what you heard from other people but what you experienced by yourself this is what we want share your own inner truth okay bye guys